All right, so once you've um, gotten all the water out of the tank there, and as much water as you can out of the bowl, then uh, if you have a two-piece, which I do, um, you want to go ahead and just unscrew the bolt um, here. And there's one on the other side as well. Uh, over here. And then uh, you want to unscrew the water line as well. When you unscrew the water line, you want to have another towel available because um, when it drops down, there's going to be more water coming out of that. So we'll do that one first. Um, need a towel. And we'll use our crescent wrench here. So we'll get a towel. I'm just going to put this kind of around the bottom here. Because there's going to be more water than just when it was the um, turning off the valve. Okay, so we want to just get this to fit. Um, put it in here. Over the thing and just... Should be loosening it, I believe. So you can see you might not need to loosen it that much before you can just undo it with your hand. So getting prepared for some water that's probably gonna be coming out of here. Okay, yep. Yeah. So around the base here of the thing and then yeah just whatever comes out we can kind of just hang it there so clean up here just a little bit around there now now um that that's done uh sounds like this is leaking or something here yeah, the shutoff valve is leaking some more. It's just kind of constantly coming here. Why does it do that? Really, it's really irritating. <laughs> Come on, really? Stop, please. You're not too tight. Okay, so please just stop. It's irritating. It seems like the shutoff valve, the tighter you do it, which is counterintuitive the more it kind of drains out of there so anyway um just keep a towel up there at the base there and then um go ahead and unscrew the bolts i showed you earlier a ratchet and a socket set are really good for this usually i think i'm probably blocking your view but you get the general idea right just un unscrew those you can get your hand up there and just unscrew it in your hand. Now, I have stainless steel um, nuts on these because when I redid this before, and I recommend this, I did the same last time I put this toilet back in. Stainless steel bolt, stainless steel washer, stainless steel nut. Um, the parts um, to the bottom here um, were not, I couldn't, they didn't come with stainless steel bolts and I just didn't get any when I did the new tank, the new, um, um, the new, um, setup inside the tank there. But if you want, you can get all this stuff stainless steel and not have to worry about your bolts rotting out after 10 years or so, you know? So, I highly recommend it for, I think, we're going to find out when we get into here just what this looks like. Because the last one I did, these were completely rotted off inside. The flange and all that was completely rotted and rusted. Um, so, I, I put in a stainless steel flange and plastic, I think. We're going to find out. <laughs> anyway, it's been a little bit since I did that. We're going to find out what I got in there. So, now we can just 
um, lift the tank off there. All our pieces are out of the way. So we lift straight up on that. And uh, yeah, we got some water still coming out of there. That's okay. Um, lay this down. Okay, so it kind of gives you a general idea of what we got going on there. Um, we have the seal between here and there. Another one on the other side. I had a stainless steel washer also. And then um, The other side of the tank here. So you got the, a gasket that goes into the hole right there, and then these two bolts that tie. Once again, I put um, stainless steel um, nut and washer on this, and this just holds the toilet seat. And then there's a gasket on the inside there. This just holds the toilet seat. It goes through those holes there, and the hole holds the um, the tank to the toilet, main toilet part there. So um, these kind of come on, tend to come unscrewed, I think. So we'll go ahead and unscrew this. I'm just showing you the parts there. Um, then of course you can see the the inside as well. The those those two bigger. Um, flathead screws in the bottom. Those are with the gaskets. Those those can tend to go out every now and then. Um, so if your tank is leaking a little bit, it's probably those gaskets at the bottom. And you get a new one of those too. Usually you can get a gasket like repair kit to repair all that. Um, at any rate, I'm gonna keep the, the stainless steel parts here because I prefer them. And so I'm just going to take these off and we'll show you the next part of the video.